Quantum Dots are about to hit their third generation of innovation with PQD. Now, there's a technical name for it. It's perovskite, if that's how you say that correctly. Quantum Dots. Now, this was just named an honoree at CES 2026 before the show even starts, which should give you an idea as to how serious the innovation really is. Now, what am I talking about? What am I on about? I'm on about what I talked about in a couple videos back where I was talking about Samsung's S99H and how that would have these PQDs in them because this is technology designed for OLED and LED technology. It doesn't matter because it's a quantum dot color conversion film. So basically these P, you know, I got to say the name, perovskite nanocrystals, okay, get into this quantum dot filtering film, this, this conversion film, basically what they're shining the light through, light source through, whatever the case may be, and you're able to see an explosion of color that just wouldn't have been possible without it. Now, the reason why this got an honorary badge is because this innovation Obviously, the color advantages of over 95% BT2020, that alone, got it really recognized, but it's also more energy efficient. It's able to burn through less of its materials through literally just making sure that it has more efficiency. That's huge for everybody. But then there's a scalability aspect of this that makes it really lucrative. This isn't expensive or as expensive as cadmium to make a manufacturer. And because of its new encapsulation techniques that it uses, it's not going to be burning out as, you know, some other results would have suggested. It's going to, in fact, give you long lasting, power efficient, ultra vibrant colors. Now, who wouldn't want that, right? And being affordable, it's going to be easy on the manufacturer's pocket. So this is going to be the technology they are going to want to implement again and again and again because it's going to be affordable and it's going to give you better results. It's a win-win for everybody. Consumers keep costs down and we get better quality images. That's a win. Now, the thing that makes this even more impressive is if you look at something like TCL's upcoming flagship that's advertising these super quantum dots, that's what's in there. So if you're not familiar, TCL is talking about now super quantum dots on the X11. This isn't news that anyone who's been researching and following this, you know that they've been talking about super quantum dots, but they haven't told you what those are. Now, some suggest that it could be the cadmium base, just a different variation of it. But I believe that it's going to be these PQDs in there because this is the time frame for the commercialization that I saw, at least in the consumer market, because um, it's already available commercially. But in the consumer market, this is what these PQDs are going to be available for. Um, big screen TVs and things like that. And if you pay attention to the marketing information that they put out and just like the general product description, they use OLED as the baseline. This technology was always supposed to be meant for OLED to go to the next level. Because if you want to see 100%, like real 100% of the actual BT2020, there's only two ways to do that. You need 12-bit color depth or you need a quantum dot OLED. That advanced display allows you to be able to tap into wider arrays and arranges or right, wider arrays of color than what would have been possible if you just would have had an LED. And that's why quantum dot and PQDs are just a match made for heaven. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And the thing is, seeing that this has already been named, this exact thing that I was telling you about, the exact terminology, the perovskite quantum dots, an honorary at CES 2026, tells you what you're about to see. RGB mini LED is only the backlighting system. So what drives the color is going to be these PQDs. So there you go. You have the crux of what CES is really going to be talking about. We've got this brand new badass backlighting system. We replaced white with red, green, and blue micro LEDs. Okay, that's great. But if you don't do anything for color, it's going to look the same. And the reason they're able to explode that color even more is because they're using a third generation advanced quantum dot called perovskite quantum dots or PQDs. So you combine the PQD technology with mini RGB or micro RGB backlighting systems and you're going to get explosions of color that we just have not been able to see before. Especially because if you remember, again, Sony used to have with their triluminous backlighting system, red, green, and blue. Again, it wasn't all clumped together. It was spaced out red, green, and blue on the back plane. On the back plane. They were able to get this really explosive color out using just regular quantum dots back in 2013. The world never seen anything about it, made a lot of news, great. Now, fast forward 2026, we have backlighting system adjustments as well across the board for multiple manufacturers and new quantum dot nanocrystals. 
that's exciting shit, man, because now we're going to see really vivid explosive color. And I want this to be trickled down on every single quantum.oled, every single TV, because color advantages are color advantages and we need them already. That being said, though, there are people that do get annoyed when things are very vivid, saying it's over cartoony or oversaturated. So we'll see how this goes and how the purist marketing campaigns and YouTubers will try to sell it down the river as just another saturation boost that you don't need. But for me personally, any advancement to the color conversion film is going to lead to a significant performance boost for you, for me especially, because I am an anime watcher and a gamer. And you talk color advancements, I'm, I'm already there. My ears are open and I'm ready to hear. But that being said, I wanna know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Are you excited for these new PQDs and the fact that it just was named an honoree of all things before CES even starts? I mean, it's literally January 2nd, like, come on. This has gotta be clearly big tech in my eyes since that's what they're announcing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the number one branded honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.